don't even know where to start. I mean, where, where do you start on a topic that has changed your whole life? Where do you even begin? Hello, I am Jack and I am from Lutworth. Hello, my name is Grant and I'm a gamer from America. Hi, my name is Eliza. Hello! How are you? This is Apple Bandito, otherwise known as Lee. Alright, I'm originally from Las Vegas, Nevada. My name is Brent, I'm from Belgium. I'm Carla from America. I'm Juliet. I'm 18 years old. I'm from the Netherlands, from Rotterdam. Today I'm going to tell you about my favorite game of all time. My favorite video game ever made. Favorite game ever made. What my favorite game is of all time. It's not just a game anymore, it's an experience that we want to be a part of. I love it, you know. It's always been just such a great experience for me to play it. And honestly, it was just an amazing experience. Video games are my life blood. Talking about your favorite game of all time. That's a tough one. It really is. It's like... It's like being a death row inmate and being asked what your final meal would be. The last meal that you would ever eat. I mean, what would you choose out of thousands, millions of different things? The last of us is where it all kind of changed for me. My mum knows me as the girl with the heart of stone. I don't cry at anything. I don't like people seeing me emotional. I don't cry at films or books or anything really. And then I played The Last of Us. Um, and I've never felt more emotionally invested in anything in my life. You connect with the characters and I came out of that game a different person than when I went into it. It was an experience that changed who I was. You feel like these are real people that you're looking at, even though you know that they're characters. There are a couple of really touching moments in it as well um, that kind of made me cry a little bit. It's like you can put two people in a relationship together in any story, but to really feel for them as a unit, as a two, it's quite a difficult thing to do. I've got favourite games of all time on any system that I can name, but whenever I get asked that question, for one reason or another, the one game that always pops into my mind first thing is the original Bioshock. It evoked more emotions out of me than any game, of the widest variety of emotions anyway. So anger, I was angry with the game, I was frustrated with the game, I was happy with the game, satisfied with the game, scared with the game. I was so invested in the universe, I was believing that I was a part of it. Dead Space 2. Absolutely adore this game. It was so worth it in the end. When you nail that final quick time event to finish the game and just be done. Just be done and just like, yes! You're screaming at the top of your lungs. You're so overjoyed. You just have to yell it to the world. That was probably the most joy I felt in beating a challenge in a game that I've ever felt in all of my decade and a half of playing games. I love it. There's always a personal reason. It's an experience you had. It's a moment in the gameplay. It's a moment in the story. It's a character. It's a mechanic. It's something. You could argue for days and weeks about what the best game of all time is, but your favorite game of all time will always be something special to you. When I was a kid, you know, just one or two years before I started playing the game, I was uh, diagnosed with dyspraxia. For me, it affected my hand-eye coordination, my motor skills. Like, I struggled to open the door to my bedroom. And I'd have to call for help. And I challenged myself. I really did challenge myself to beat it. I could get better. Things could get better. And, you know, my disability didn't have to be such a disadvantage to me. Super Mario 64 made me love gaming.
You have that freedom, that sense of being able to do what you want. I love doing what I like to do. I'm a person who will do whatever I feel like doing. Yeah, I like to do what I do, so I can do whatever I want in Skyrim. I get to do whatever I want, whenever I want, and I love that, you know? I've been gaming since I was just a little girl, and yeah, gaming is just one of my favorite things to do ever, because you can do, you can be anyone when you're playing a game, and that's so much fun to do. It goes deeper than that. It's, it's not really on a personal level, but on a, on a community level. But because of it, and because of the, the people that I met, and the people that I know, because of it, it's just special to me. My favorite game is Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. The Fallout series. Donkey Kong Country. Jack and Daxter. I'm talking about Thief 2. It's Kingdom Hearts. What's Kingdom Hearts? Skyrim. Charter 3, Drake's Deception. Just look at his face. For a minute there. Look at, look at that face. I fucking love this game. The first time I played it, it was an adventure for me. This is the original trilogy. This was the original idea that was had in mind. This was what someone's dream was to create. You absolutely do not want the characters to die because you're, you're so attached to them. You're just so attached to these characters, you don't want them to die at all, you just can't let them die. Video games are not just a time waster. A lot of these games can also be experiences. I could go on about this game for absolutely ages, uh, but I won't because we'd be here till next year. It's not just blood and gore and violence and language, it's being able to tell a story that is meaningful and emotional and artistic and that goes beyond, that uses the medium of gaming in a way that can benefit others. And that's what Persona 4 did for me. I remembered all those good times when I didn't have to worry about homework and life. It was just an adventure with your friends and about f how friendship is important to you and how you should always keep them close. And that was. I really learned something from Kingdom Hearts, it's true. So, uh, thank you for watching. So, thank you very, very much for watching. Bye. See ya. That's gonna be it for me. Take care. Take care. Sad enough. Get you later. I'm gonna go play me some Snake Eater. Bye. Take care. Or, as we Belgians say, salut. I've been Jack. I hope you like this. I really like the fact that there's such a tight-knit community. Everyone's just really nice to each other and it makes me happy. That's all I'm gonna say.